Hey, hey, everybody, this is Larry. This is May 27 here in New York City. I am trying to do an extra algo poem that I haven't done before. I usually do RNG, but, uh, but now I've been kind of just doing it on the newest poems first, hoping that they're more interesting. I don't know if it has been. Let me know in the comments what you think, but let's take a look. Uh, we have, today we have a medium poem, 3119, maximum number of potholes that can be fixed. You're given a string row consisting only of characters X and dot, where each X denotes a pothole and dot denotes a smooth road and an integer budget. In one repair operation, you can repair n consecutive potholes for a price of n plus 1. Return the maximum number of potholes that can be fixed such that the sum of the prices of all the fixes does not go over the given budget. Okay. Thing makes sense. So here you would do Oh, oh, you want to fix the, so you want to, I, I, yeah, okay, I just, I wasn't sure what it wants to return, so I, I guess this is good. Um, okay, so the first thing I want to take a look is the constraints, um, because honestly, uh, and n is 10 to the fifth, my, my first idea is dynamic programming, I'm not going to lie, but, uh, but I don't think that's it, or like, I think there's a easier solution, and the easier solution is just that, um, hmm, well, I mean, I think it is some variation of greedy, but maybe it's not as easy as I made it out to be. The idea here is taking advantage of this idea that p the price is n plus 1, right? So that means that in a very obvious way, on a, on an intermediate, on, on a, um, introductory level, you want to do all the roads together, right? But then, so that is a, an obvious observation. I don't think that observation is that, that tricky to find out. But then the second observation is you know, maybe you could visualize a little bit, is that when do you combine X's, right? What the, what is this? That could have an accent. Okay, so let's say there are, there are uh, multiple periods in, in between, right? That means that this will cost seven, the six X's, and there's six X's here, right? So that means that if we want to solve both, then this is going to cost seven plus seven, right? But then now, what? Do, let's think about it. What? How do we want to? Uh, you know. Let's say there are only two spaces, right? Well, how much does that cost? It's still seven. So there are two ways to do it, right? There's seven plus seven doing it twice, or you you do it the entire the entire thing, which is going to be six plus six uh, plus two plus one, right? Because that's the length. And so that's, you know, 6 plus 1 plus 6. Oh, sorry. Wait, wait, wait. Uh, that is just 14. 14 plus 1, right? Um, okay. That means that it's still not good to, to do the, um, them separately. But then now, let's take a look. If we are only one space is away. Right? If only one space is away, what does this mean? That means that here... Uh, yeah, because this is still the best, right? It, let's say we're one space away. What does this mean? That means that uh, when we do them two separately, it's still seven plus seven, obviously, because we haven't changed. But let's say we do them together. What does this mean? That means that the seven plus six is thirteen. So there's the thirteen spaces plus one for the cost. So what does that mean? That means that they're equal. So what is the observation here, right? Um, so, so the observation here then now is that it doesn't matter. You don't have to do them together. There's no advantage of doing them together, um, right? Because, uh, yeah, there's no advantage. Of, or, I mean, you could, do, you could say that you're doing them together, but in terms of algorithmically, there's no effect, like it's mathematically equivalent. So we'll choose the one that is easiest for us to represent, which is doing them separately. Um, and be, now that we, we can think about each segment separately, then now we can do it in a greedy way, right? And the, the way that we do it greedy is just given a budget, just f um, because, um, yeah, I mean, I, I think given budget, it also is, uh, hmm.
wait, is that true? Hang on, let me think about this. Because that here, because I'm trying to think of a case. So let's say you have 20 things or your budget is 20. Uh, and then now let's say you have one thing that is 15, but then you, you uh, and then, but there's also two other pieces that's 10 and 10. But if you do it greedy, that's not going to work, right? Because then you take the 15 and then you kind of, oh wait, no, 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 no. It's still fine because you can do partials. That's that's why I was like, am I missing something? I forgot something. Uh, but then no, 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 yeah, yeah, it's still right because you could do still do partials. So what that means is that you could do five. Um, you could do fifteen, and then you could do five or something. Technically, I guess this is plus one. So you you do for the fifteen for sixteen. You have four left. You could do three of these, right? And here the same way. Um, you if you do ten, it costs eleven. So you have um, nine bucks left, and then here you do another eight. Right. So, OK, so that means that because we are doing partial, we are able to do it in a greedy way. If you cannot do it in a partial, then maybe you have to do something like pseudo polynomial dynamic programming. But we don't have to think about that anyway. Um, of course, all this you can quote unquote guess and be intuition. But I think it is important um, to examine all these reasons as to, you know, how the, the basic greedy solution works. Right. Because. Um, because the idea is not to explore this, I mean, okay, we are exploring this problem, but also we are trying to explore future problems where we have similar things and then you'd be like, okay, you know, I'm not memorizing, I'm just trying to figure it out, right? Okay, so yeah, now, now that we got it, we can just do a quick goodbye road, right? So for character and then group in this. We have a total for the total uh, roads that we built. Budget, I guess we can, uh, I'll just use current budget. Right. So we have the group, we convert it to the length, right? Um, but of course, only if C is equal to X, uh, or if it's not, then we just continue, right? Uh, yeah. So then now this is the count. Uh, L for the length, maybe. Right, so then now we can do, how many votes of this can we do? We can either do L, so the, hmm, how do I say it? So we can either do L length or budget minus one, right? So we can take the min of these two and we, we add it to the total because that's the, that's the number of roads that we built and then here we can say uh yeah budget we we subtracted from the min of either the budget or l plus one because that's the number of roads that we have already done and that's pretty much it oh wait no no, no. I, I, what, what am i doing i'm i'm confused uh okay I forgot the sorting. Uh, sorry, friends. I I, I think I, I got a little bit sidetracked by thinking about stuff. But no, no, no. As we said, this is going to be greedy on the max road. So, of course, we, we just have to put something like, um, yeah, like R for roads, R dot append L. And then later we do an R dot sort reverse is equal to true. And then now for uh, L in R, then we do this, right? Sorry, friends. And I, I lied about using the current anyway, so I guess we don't need it here. Uh, yeah. Give a spin. Hopefully it's right. Give a submit. The weak case, the, I was going to just say the input cases are weak, but... Um, hmm. Maybe I missed an edge case. Did I miss an edge case? I mean, I don't know why I'm returning... Why am I returning zero? Did I mess up something? Hmm. One one is right, so it goes to for one. Budget is you go to two, so this is going to be one, and L is going to be one. So total is going to mess up something. I don't get it. Hmm. Dong dong dong.
Huh. I'm just a little confused to be honest. Budget is zero, which is fine. But then why not total? Huh. I think the idea is fine, but what what happened here? What happened here? Did I mess up something weird? <laughs> okay. L so it's gonna be one, the budget is two. Total is zero, and then total we have one. Oh, I am dumb. Okay, I mean, that's just a. I thought I checked for this, but. Huh. Well, I mean, I clearly did not, but I thought in my mind that this gets checked. But, uh, but yeah, it's just that budget is zero. So then now this is negative one. We want this to be at least zero. So we just have to do this. And I think that's good. All right, let's give it some minute. All right, what a silly mistake, but uh, but the idea is still fine, right? So this is gonna be n log n because of the sorting. Uh, I don't know. Anytime I, I was like, oh, we'll just, we'll just go very detailed. I kind of made a silly mistake on this one, but uh, okay. I mean, pretty doable, pretty okay. Uh, yeah. This is gonna be n log n because of the, the sorting and of n space because of the r and just this stuff is all of n in general. Um, yeah. That's all I have with this one. Let me know what you think. Thanks for watching. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, join me on Discord. Let me know what you think about this problem. And yeah, stay good, stay healthy, do good mental health. I'll see y'all later and take care. Bye-bye.